Hi, this is Michelle Anglisano, co-author of Methylation Madness, Insight into the Biochemical and Personal Lives of Hypermethylators. I co-wrote my book with Dr. Terrence Doolin. He has been my orthomolecular biochemical nutritionist for over 30 years now. And um, today I wanted to discuss um, how I was feeling this morning. So I'm a hypermethylator, meaning my body does not detox properly from sulfur or anything that methylates, which means it creates sulfur. So I'm on a very restricted diet, as many of you know who follow me. And Dr. Doolin has put me on this diet many, many years ago. And I'm very, very close to the diet. Um, I actually just told someone the other day that for the per first about three years of being on his diet, um, his program, whatever you want to call it, I did not cheat at all. I initially went to doc for um, anxiety and then he has treated me since then for hormonal issues, for um, acute liver failure due to a methylating um, antibiotic. So this special diet is very low sulfur or practically no sulfur and nothing with methionine in it. I am allowed once every three to six months to have a piece of fish just to keep my methylation going at a, at a more proper way since I eat no methionine and I eat no sulfur. There are times that I cheat on it, but I don't cheat with certain things. I'll have a little bit of uh, lemon zest. I'll have a little bit of chives, which are actually on my program, but I don't eat them regularly because I just, just don't. I don't know why. I just don't. Um, so Easter dinner yesterday, I cooked um, a, a lamb shoulder and on, in the marinade were, was some lemon zest and some chives. And then I made a salad dressing for just a regular old salad with, um, some, a little bit of lemon juice, some, uh, white vinegar and olive oil. And then I put walnuts. I toasted walnuts, coconut, and, um, cranberries with a little bit of smart balance. So in a pan and I threw that on top and then I took some goat cheese and, um, I breaded the goat cheese with a tiny, tiny bit of panko and um, I seared it in a pan, so you put it on top of the salad. And then I had um, I had roasted olives with spices, olive oil, and it also had a little lemon zest. The um, the dinner was I would say eighty five to ninety percent legal for me, but the the weather outside right now the the histamine level, the pollen level, I think it was 11.5 the other day, which is very high. So I've been a little itchy, scratching my arms. And, um, with the, the histamine level outside that will fire my adrenaline and make me kind of, um, achy and my eyes will be watering just like every other person who has pollen allergies. Except for me, my adrenaline fires far more than the quote unquote normal person who is not a hypermethylator. I balanced it out a little bit, my meal yesterday with some coconut in the salad dressing or the, the, the nuts, I mean, and I woke up this morning and I really didn't feel myself. I am extremely in tune with my body. I know when my glutamine is down. I know when my tyrosine is shifting. I know when my sulfur is up. <clears throat> I know when my adrenaline is firing. I know my adrenaline's too low. It is very, very interesting how I am able to, after all these years, I could, I could really, um, diagnose how I feel feel and why, but I always check in with doc. So I text Dr. Doolin this morning and I said, all right, so 
I am a little depressed, a bit pissy, if you will, pardon the phrase, a tad moody. I am indecisive about everything, especially what to eat. I had no true appetite, though I was hungry. I would open the refrigerator and then everything was just gross to me. Um, I began to have a little tactile issues. Um, and I just, I just didn't feel myself. Now, thank God at this point, I have nothing to truly make me feel awful. Granted, I'm still mourning both of my cousins and, you know, but it's, I'm, I'm moving through and working through that. So that's not an, this, this acute, um, feeling of just not feeling great, just moody and kind of not in a good mood. And, um, so I told him that. And then I said to him, I go, all right, my glutamine is low. Hence my depressing kind of saddy feeling. My adrenaline is firing. That's the, the, that kind of angry kind of feeling. My tyrosine is on the lower side because my, my neck and my, my shoulders and my ankle has been, and my thumbs have actually been bothering me, um, on and off for about a, about a week. And my sinuses are a bit clogged up. My nose is runny and I'm, a, I can't say I'm headache. I, I can't say that I have a headache, but I could say that I'm just like eh, right here in the top of my head, just a little bit annoying. So I text them all that. And then in the meantime, when I was waiting for a response, I took my Nama J2 juicer, which I love. And I took two gigantic beets. They were like that. And I put them through the juicer and I threw in, um, I would say a, a container of, of chopped up watermelon. And it turned out, actually I have, um, I made a, a quick, uh, what is it called? A story. Um, so you could see that it's the, if you, if you've seen the story, it's a 30, two ounce jar, mason jar of this juice. So I sucked down, I would say almost half of it. Now, watermelon is a neutral food. Beets are a very high glutamine food. And that is what I felt that my body was needing. I felt like I kind of burnt out my adrenaline a little bit and my, my glutamine ended up being kind of low and the histamine being high, kind of everything needs to be in sync. Being that I had sulfur in the lemon in the cranberries and in the chives, my adrenaline fired a little bit higher than it would normally if it was just real pollen -y like outside. So I asked him, if I was right in my little diagnosis. And when he did reply back, he said that I was right, um, mostly, but then he brought in that the, that pollen level is really just firing that adrenaline even more. So after 30 something years, I have to say, I was pretty on point with my, um, my biochemistry balancing back to the beet juice. After I drank the beet juice, I was like, okay, let's see how this makes me feel. I also took my vitamins, my, my programmed vitamins that I'm, that are on my program. And it consists also of uh, 1400 milligrams of glutamine in the pill form plus N acetyltyrosine, um, 300 milligrams of B complex, um, and that's really most of what needs to be discussed in this video. So I would say I have a 20 minute time frame of 
if something is going to affect me immediately. I could sit and I can tell you that if there is garlic or onion in something or a fish sauce or a soy or something like that in something that I've eaten mistakenly within 20, 20 minutes, this is how it's been since I was 24. I'm going to be 53. I can tell you immediately how I, that, that something is wrong with me. So last night I had such a great time with my family and, but I was feeling, I was starting to get a little tired, a little extra tired. And I was getting a little bit, tiny bit headachey. Now that was the sulfur firing it up. And then when you're, when you're, I'm sorry, that was the sulfur firing my adrenaline. And then after a while I get tired and that's, that's it going down. So this morning I felt a little worse and I drank that beet juice and within 20 minutes, I'm tooling around the house doing whatever, you know, forcing myself to do, to do things because I just, I refuse to be in a bad mood. I just, it's just what I choose to do in my own life. So I pushed myself to do. And within 20 minutes, I started feeling myself again. You know, I, I, am a very bubbly person and, um, I just started feeling myself. So I told him, Dr. Doolin, text him again. And I said to him what I did and I was correct. I needed to refill my glutamine, but I had to do it real quick. So that is so fascinating to me, even still after 30, whatever years of being on Dr. Doolin's program, I am able to really tell, even by the color of my eyes, my eyes are a little bit, a little bit more yellow today because my sulfur is a little bit higher. So I'm, I'm fascinated even after all these years that my body just shifts like that. And I know everybody's body shifts, but with me, I'm so in tune with my biochemistry and how my biochemistry affects every single aspect of my moods, my eye color, my skin color. If you could see, I don't know if it'll really show, but do you see the yellow, the yellowish points a little bit more in my fingers? That is the sulfur. I'm, I usually have yellowish hands and my eyes usually have a tiny bit of a yellow tone and my skin, but today, it's, um, it's quite a bit more yellow and that's from eating that sulfur last night. So I balanced it out today and I feel really good. Um, and tonight I'm going to have some coconut milk ice cream and that's the sari. Now, somebody on my YouTube channel, um, asked me if I can explain sulfur. I mean, silly, sorry. If I can explain serine and what it does for me and what it can do. Dr. Doolin and I discussed it and we're going to be making a video together about serine. Serine is a huge, huge, um, part of my, my dietary intake. Um, as you know, some of you know, I eat a tremendous amount of coconut and it's not just because I adore coconut. It's because the coconut helps lower my, um, lower my sulfur kind of cuts the sulfur a little bit. So doc and I will be creating a video together. I do have a little write up, which I might, um, I might do a video on really quick, but, um, you could, you could, uh, see that video at some point, probably within the next couple of weeks got to see if we could get our schedules, um, together. So I felt that this is, uh, this was a very interesting day for me biochemically. And I'm grateful beyond grateful that I, I, I truly feel happy, you know, um, and it, it, I was able to balance myself without feeling really lousy all day. So in the background, you will see the cover of my book, 
with Dr. Doolin, Methylation Madness. It can be found on Amazon.com and it can be found on BarnesandNoble.com. It is a book within a book within a book. It has some phenomenal biochemistry and uh, genetics that Dr. Doolin wrote. It has my life story in mini version and it has four other hypermethylators uh, that I interviewed, their stories and their journeys to um, to where they are today. And we're all, um, we're all patients of Dr. Doolin's, very long-term patients for years. Um, I also have my anxiety, MTHFR, and biochemistry support YouTube channel. Um, I'd appreciate it if you would like and subscribe because I want to try to help as many people feel as good as I do, even on a day when I don't feel great and purchase the book. And uh, that's all I have. Feel free to text me, IM me and ask me anything you want. And I hope this helped those of you who are struggling with finding out what's actually wrong, whether it be anxiety um, or you have genetic tests. Um, I, I truly hope that I'm helping you. So I will sign off. This is a bit lengthy, but that's Okay, sometimes I just have to do a longer one. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Have a great day.